All right, first question, Robin Washit. Uh, you guys were winning the game uh, about six minutes in, five minutes in, and then you know, they kind of went on a 16-0 run there. Uh, what happened from your vantage point? I know you guys didn't make a basket for about eight minutes during that stretch. I guess offensively, what went wrong when things kind of fell apart in you there? Um, you know, I feel like um, during that stretch they went in, we let um, our offense dictate how we were playing on defense. So I feel like just having the same intensity on defense and bringing it will convert our offensive end to where we're not making shots to where we could get out of the run and play the way we want to play. But, you know, with the guys we have, you know, we got we to gotta play 40 minutes, and we know that, and we know that there's a fine line between winning and losing, man. And we got to do all the little things and all the things that we can control in order to help, you know, come up with the victory at the end of the game. But, man, just... Being able to play 40 minutes and playing through the adversity when we don't make a shot for about eight minutes and just knowing that we got to get it back on the defensive end. And then even if we're not hitting shots, the defensive end is what's going to bring our intensity back and give us our momentum. So just being able to lock in down there and, you know, playing that, that end of the floor will help us generate offense. Chris Bastet. <laughs> hey, Delano, do you guys as players, do you think if you're pretty close to, you know, being able to close a game out like this, I know that's something Coach Hoiberg talked about. He, he, he thought you guys were close and just didn't shoot it very well tonight. Do you guys as players kind of, kind of feel that same way? Uh, definitely, definitely. Every time we step on that floor, man, we have uh, the utmost confidence to go out there and come out with the victory. But, you know, we know as we get into Big Ten play and face better better competition each game out and have a tougher opponent each time out that we're going to have to play the 40 minutes. But we definitely feel like we're getting closer. And, you know, it showed tonight. We just got to piece that eight minutes together where we don't make a shot and, you know, fight it through on the defensive end. So, man, we know we're getting closer and closer game by game. And we're just going to keep fighting, keep working, getting back to practice and, you know, getting back to it so we could come out with the victory next time. Sam McEwen. Hey, Delano, um, what was the defensive plan tonight uh, on those two big guys, and why was it so effective? Um, you know, we wanted, we knew that they were gonna uh, play through the paint, um, knowing that we give up size. So we wanted to double them every time they caught it on the dribble. We wanted to harass them, you know, make them fire it out in rotations, and you know that was working for us early. And, you know, like I said, just 40 minutes of basketball, man. 40 minutes is what's going to get get us to win through these good teams. So, you know, we are doing it early. And, you know, I feel like we, we, we fell off from that. And then they started firing it out. And that was when they started hitting shots. And then, again, we let that dictate our offense. So just being able to have that mental standpoint to fight through 40 minutes and knowing we got to fire and we got to kill what they want to generate their offense through. And if we know, if we are going to lose, make them beat us the way they don't want to beat us, you know. So just following up with that game plan and just going out and doing what we have to do. Thanks, man. Jacob Padilla. Uh, you guys got a quick turnaround um, here. W what's going to be the key to kind of getting your offense back on track besides simply just getting shots to fall? Just mental preparation, man. You know, we got to we gotta know that we, this one's behind us. We know that our most important game is our next game. And, you know, we have a, a big opportunity on Christmas to, to have a game on Christmas. So, you know, we're going to come out, go back and practice and figure out what we have to do. Put up a lot of shots, man. Put up a lot of shots and just get back into that gym. Work on our free throws for sure. That's something we need to better. So, you know, we know what we have to do in order to pull out a victory. So we're just going to go back to the gym, go back with coach and work on everything and just, you know, be more prepared next time out. One or two more. That's all, the question, that's all the questions we have. Thanks, Delano. Thanks, everyone, for joining Thank you. us. Thank you. Have a